Good evening and welcome to our Wednesday prayer service here at Pine Shores Presbyterian Church in Sarasota, Florida. I'm the Reverend Karen Wismer. We are glad that you are here for a brief time of prayer, scripture, some silence, lighting candles, and of course, listening to beautiful music. Thank you, Wayne. Our scripture reading for this evening is taken from the Psalms. I'm reading Psalm 62, starting with verse 5 and going through verse 12. Listen for God's word to you on this evening. For God alone, my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge, is in God. Trust in him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath, and those of high estate are delusioned. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no confidence in the exhortation, and set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God, and steadfast love belongs to you, O Lord, for you repay to all according to their work. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So on this day, on this inauguration day, as we gather together, we think of Um, what's going on in our lives. We think of what's going on in the lives of those around us and in our country, in our churches, and throughout the world. Um, This psalm reminds us that we are to put our trust and hope in Almighty God. 
I invite you to take a few moments to mean, to think about what it means to you to put your trust and hope in God. This evening, why light a candle of hope? Hope that we know that darkness will never extinguish the light. We light a candle of peace and grace and forgiveness. We light the candle reminding us to give our very selves to you, O Lord. We lift up our church and our churches. We lift up our country and its leaders. We lift up our children and our youth. We lift up justice. We lift up those who are ill. We lift up those who have received news that will change their lives forever. We lift up those who celebrate new births and anniversaries, those who find themselves committing to another. We lift up our teachers and all those that are associated with teaching our children and our youth. We lift up parents and grandparents, sisters and brothers. We lift up those who continue, our health workers and those who find ways to help with the pandemic. And we lift up your word to us this day.
Let us pray. Our gracious and holy Lord, we have gathered once again from our various homes or cars or offices while we're taking a walk late at night or while we're settling in to hear your word, to listen to scripture, and to once again open our hearts to invite the Holy Spirit to fill us with your goodness and your grace. On this evening, as we settle in, O Lord, and as we think about our day, we lift up those who have been fortunate enough to have a day in which they feel blessed. And we lift up those who find themselves in despair, who are saddened, who have heard bad news, who have had to deal with a situation that has thrown them for a loop. We lift up those who rejoice this day, and we lift up those who weep. We lift up those whose bellies are full and those whose bellies are crying out in hunger. We lift up those who seek justice and we lift up those who help to find justice. We lift up friend and foe. We lift up our nation and we lift up the world. We pray for our country, we pray for peace, we pray for civility, we pray for understanding, perhaps help us to be a little more humble when we need to be. And may we listen with ears, not so that it's our turn, but that we might understand our brothers and sisters' need or distress or opinion or view or hopes or dreams. We lift up our children and our youth, Almighty God, and pray for them. We pray for their safety. We pray for their well-being. We pray that they might know of your love in their lives. We lift up our college age students who have just recently gone back, that you will keep them safe, that they will be leaders, not only in word and deed. We lift up the families and the church as they take care of their children, and sometimes not only their children, but their parents as well. And we ask that you continue to give them strength and that you give them courage and energy. May they be guided by wisdom and compassion, but most of all of love. We lift up those who work hard to open the eyes that all might see and hear. We lift up the church universal that it might always point towards the light, that it might be filled with truth and grace. We lift up Pine Shores to you, Almighty God, and ask that you will mold us into the community of faith that you have called us to be, that we might hear the call to love and to serve you in maybe some new and creative ways we thank you for the music that has penetrated our souls. We thank you for the words that have perked our attention. We thank you for the scripture that points us once again to you, almighty God. And so on this evening, as we settle in, we give you thanks for all that you have given us, for all the many blessings. As we gently go into the night, may we greet tomorrow bright knowing that it is a new day with new possibilities, new hopes, and new dreams, a new beginning. For in you, we are new creatures. The past is finished and gone. Everything becomes fresh and new. So knowing that, Almighty God, we lift our prayers to you and the prayer which you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
my friends, receive now our benediction. May God, our guardian, protect you. Christ, the healer, restore you. And the Holy Spirit sustain you this day and forevermore. Amen.